Hej allihopa, hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Say It In Swedish. I'm your host, Joakim, and today we're gonna take a look at The Umbrella Academy on Netflix. And it's an adaptation of a comic book about, let's say, dysfunctional superheroes, unwilling superheroes, people with powers, alright? And how is this relevant to Swedish? Well, in the second season we have a band of criminals, three brothers, called the Swedes, and if you don't want to get spoiled, I'm gonna stop right there, and you are gonna just stop watching now. So in the second season, in episode 6, we have a whole scene spoken in Swedish between the Swedes and the commissioner, which is the head of the Temps Commission that handles time, the timeline, and makes sure that the time or the you know the continuum is kind of on the right path so they have a meeting in a sauna in swedish let's take a look at it All right, we have a lot to discuss here. So let's talk about the set before moving on to the Swedish here. Um, it's in a sauna or sauna, which is a stereotypically Finnish thing. Not so much Swedish, but I guess maybe the Americans see it as a Nordic thing. So that's fine, I guess. We do do it more than other cultures in Sweden, but not as much as the Finns. We even have our own word for it, bastu, which is short for badstuga, bathing cottage or bathing room. And to go to the sauna or the action is bada bastu, to basically bathe, bathing cottage. Anyway, uh, moving on, the Swedes are very blonde, which w also would suggest that they are Finns and not Swedes, because Finnish people tend to be a lot blonder, almost white-haired, as opposed to Swedes, uh, who are normal blonde or like me. This is blonde, right? Y you might think it's brown, but this is blonde. It's Sandria, probably, uh, so it's more like rat, blonde, grey, brown thingy. <laughs> but as a kid, I, I was really, really blonde. Tjena, the Swede here. If you want to access content on the internet that has been made unavailable in your country, like watching Swedish TV, or accessing a country-specific catalog on Netflix, or maybe you just want to unblock YouTube at work or in school, then you need a VPN connection from 
NordVPN, which is the provider me and Joakim are using for the moment. Using NordVPN is just like traveling. First you're at home, then you're here. And then here. And then suddenly you're here. It's here like inside your TV. NordVPN has super fast servers and unlimited bandwidth, which you know is super important when streaming video. And if you're out traveling for real, they protect your data against shady hostel or cafe owners with double D encryption enabled. And if you want to try this out, but you discover it's not for you, they have a 30 day money back guarantee. And if you sign up right now, you get 68% off NordVPN. This means that it costs you $3.71 American per month. And you even get another month for free if you use our link nordvpn.org slash Swedish or use the coupon code Swedish. Thank you for watching. Sign up now and thank you NordVPN for sponsoring this video. And the fact that uh, that the Swedes, or at least the, the bigger brother, the leader here, is playing with a knife also suggests that they are Finns, because the Swedish stereotype of Finns is that they, they drink a lot, and they go to the sauna a lot, and they play with knives a lot. <laughs> That's the stereotype. So everything here just feels Finnish and not Swedish. However, the dialogue is in Swedish. However, it's barely understandable to me and I, I get that these are ta talented actors and I don't know what kind of schooling they got. Uh, at least they don't sound American or English speaking. Before moving on, talking about the Swedish here, let's watch the scene again with Swedish subtitles and maybe you can understand better and maybe I can understand better. It's a lot easier to understand the dialogue now, isn't it? However, there are a few weird things going on in the subtitles. So, for instance, a few words have been replaced or not translated. Uh, and the word order is also different, at least once or twice. But if they had to adapt the subtitles to fit the screen, that's totally normal and fine. However, some of the words that... I can't decipher are not in the subtitles because of this. So for instance, when she says Fashikti, at least the subtitles say she says Fashikti. She doesn't. It, it sounds, I can't decipher it. So if you're sweet, please let me know in the comments down below. What is she really saying? She also pronounces some words that I, well, because of the subtitles can decipher. For instance, Behöva, 
super weirdly pronounced and gulliga she pronounces like googly googly <laughs> they are very talented actors but they got very poor coaching for this this scene feels rushed it's like it takes the magic out of the or the illusion out of the show for us swedes maybe it works well abroad if you don't speak swedish but it sounds like gibberish to me uh, it would have worked a lot better i think if she had an american accent and she sounded like someone trying to learn swedish or whatever someone that is fairly good at swedish but has an accent now the accent you can't pinpoint it and it sounds yeah i don't know uh, it's like she begins pretty like the the stress is pretty good in the beginning and then it loses it loses it for some reason uh but there are other things that makes the whole dialogue hard to understand for me as a swede one also funny thing about the Swedes here is that it sounds like they are speaking Feno Swedish, at least in the begin beginning. Chenervide, do we know you? It sounds like he's listened to uh yeah, a Finn that speaks Swedish. Uh there are Finns that who speak Swedish uh, as a native language, but their dialects uh, the dialect sounds a bit different from the dialects in Sweden, for instance, and they have this ch sound that we don't have so we say it känner vi dig känner vi dig and they say känner vi dig or yeah i i'm not a fan of sweet so uh, but it's an approximation of that pronunciation so that also suggests that they are more finns than swedes uh, which i think is funny but the main thing here is that the dialogue is so poorly written i think the writers of the show they just sent a script to a translation agency and they had to without context translate this and it just doesn't work in this case for instance the the german words i know americans think we are swiss and sometimes they think we are dutch and sometimes sometimes they think we are germans and uh, we aren't I, we speak Germanic languages, all right, but we aren't. And I don't know, is this a common thing in the US so that words like Schwitz and words like Wiener would feel like, uh, would like maintain the illusion of this being Swedes? Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Let me know. I really want to know because Schwitz, I, I guess it's almost it sounds a bit like Yiddish here, like like maybe it's something you use in America uh, for for this. I guess it was in the original script, and those words were considered slang, so they weren't translated, for instance. Uh, but it doesn't work. No one, uh, not a normal Swede, would use words like that. If she does. Maybe, yeah, she's American, uh, she uses these kind of slang words, I guess it kind of works. But a Swede wouldn't say, hon har min wiener, right? She has my wiener. No, <laughs> wiener should be translated to at least korv, sausage. It's the, like, the very least thing they could have done. But... Uh, I'm not blaming the translators either, because they probably had no context whatsoever, and sometimes you have to you have to weigh in like or think about is do what do they mean with a wiener here? Do they mean that thing or something else? But to if they could have said wiener korv. That would have worked because we could call that a korv sausage if we want. And wiener korv is a thing that we can eat in Sweden, so uh, that would have worked. Uh, there are other things that don't really work. It would be a long video if I would go through 
every single one of them. But for instance, botemedel means it's a remedy, but something that cures you. I would have said spontaneously in the beginning here, det finns ingen medicin. There is no medicine. And stuff like that. Like words that I would not have said personally and that I think sounds a bit weird in this regard. Before ending this video, let's watch the scene once again. But this time I will read you the subtitles so that you kinda hear how this should have been pronounced. Det finns alla möjliga sorters botemedel. Men inget slår gammaldags svits när det gäller stress. Mitt jobb kan vara stressigt utan tvekan. Men jag kan inte föreställa mig hur det måste vara för er. Pojkar, känner vi dig? Nej, men jag vet allt om mer. Men det verkar som om ni har stött på några problem. Med just det här jobbet. Bara en hake. Ni förlorar er bror. Jag skulle kalla det mer än en hake. Tänk om jag kan leverera den knivkastande träskallen som orsakar explosionen av er älskade bror. Vem är du? Jag är någon ni vill känna. Hon har min viner! Fortsätt. Jag ska berätta den exakta platsen för den ni letar efter. Diego. Resten lämnar jag åt er fantasi. Vad får du ut av det? Låt oss bara säga att hans lilla gömma korven lek med min dotter behöver ett abrupt slut. Jag har bara en begäran. Försiktig med den. Med de gulliga strumporna. Lavendel. All right, that was everything for this video. Did you like the Umbrella Academy? Let me know in the comments down below. I love that series. And do you like this format? Please leave a like and leave a comment down below as well. And if you have more movies and shows with a Nordic or Swedish connection somehow, if you want me to react to that, please let me know in the comments down below as well. And I will make more of these videos. Right. If you want to learn Swedish, you can do that on sayitinswedish.com where I've got free audio lessons and vocabulary lists and more content for you for learning Swedish. And if you want to talk to me, fans and learners, and practice your Swedish, you can do that on the Discord server. Link is in the description as well for that. And if you want to support what I do, you can become a patron member. All the links are in the, the description down below. And we will see each other in the next video. Okay? Hurry, bra. Puss och kram. Hej.